We're going to start. We're going to start. <clears throat> Good morning. Our Mass today, we, um, we celebrate the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica. She is the Mother Church of all churches throughout the world. Our entrance antiphon. I saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we begin, we acknowledge our faults and failures and ask the good Lord for his healing. As we <coughs> celebrate this feast day, this, uh, this, this birth of our church. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. On this feast day, we praise our God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, Every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, 
the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The psalm responds, The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. River Gladden, City of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the City of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. We stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen, and spilled the coins of the money changers, and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. The disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. 
At this, the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, today marks the anniversary of the dedication of the Cathedral Church of Rome. It was dedicated in the year 324. Now, many people, myself included, I used to think that, oh, the mother church of the world is St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. But in fact, it's St. John Lateran Basilica. That is the cathedral for the Pope of Rome. And the way it happened was after Constantine accepted the faith, he wanted to build a temple for the Christian God. Now, it was common in that period that they would build a temple simply big enough for the priest to be there and pray. But the Christian notion was, but because of our baptism, we share in the priesthood of Christ. We are not only priests, we are also called to be prophets, meaning to be teachers, as well as servants of the kingdom. So the baptized is a priest, a prophet, and a servant of the kingdom. So the basilica was built so large that all the worshipers were able to be inside and not exclusively the priests. And in our first reading today, we get an image of what that temple of God is to do. It's a place where waters flow out, life-giving water. And you can imagine the difference that makes in a desert climate area. And wherever the river goes, every living creature will live and trees will grow and bear fruit. All will find refreshment from the waters flowing forth from the sanctuary. What a a beautiful image of what our church can be, a place where lost souls will find life, where the weary will find their burdens lightened, and where those who feel discouraged will be lifted up. Pope Francis' image of a church is that we are not to be history museums, but rather we are to be like field hospitals, caring for those in need. So pray for our church, pray for our parish, and for ourselves, for it is not the building itself that gives life, but rather it is Christ and the Christian community who serves in his name. So let us pray that we may be God's instrument to bring life into our parish, our school, and then out into our community. Let us pray. Let us pray then for the parishioners of St. Anne and for all Christians that we may be like water that gives life to our communities. We pray to the Lord. For our nation, that even if we are from different political parties with different views and priorities, we may still work as one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We pray to the Lord. For peace among nations, peace in our families, and peace in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. For the victims of crime, for those incarcerated, and for those unjustly condemned, and for their family members and friends, we pray to the Lord. 
We remember those who are sick. Jane Ann Sullivan, Brian Bad, Charlie Cunningham. For God's healing grace, we pray to the Lord. And we continue to lift up our beloved departed. So we entrust into the loving hands of God those enrolled in our All Souls Novena, but also all our deceased family members and friends. And so for all who have died, especially those who have no one to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. And for your intentions. For all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Loving God, you who bring light and refreshment to weary souls, hear the prayers of your children as we entrust them into your loving hands. In your goodness, grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence, you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son of the Holy You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember those enrolled in our All Souls Novena and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints will please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called 
to the supper of the Lamb. communion antiphon be built up like living stones into a spiritual house a holy priesthood let us pray O God who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth grant we pray that by our partaking of the sacrament we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay warm. <laughs>